Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper. I just got a tractor supply trailer tongue toolbox, which I'm uh, putting, of course, on the tongue of my M105A2 trailer. What I'm going to do here is weld or have welded a platform so that it could sit up higher and be out of the way of the landing gear when it's hooked up because the landing gear sits probably close to a foot higher than the actual tongue when it's uh, raised up. So I have to have it welded and I have a local welding shop that has done some work for my truck. They actually uh, created these mounts right here for my uh, winch and they came out really good. So they extended it out and they put the D-rings there and they put some really strong uh, through bolts through the shackle mount there and I am able to lock them, unlock them. I could take it out real easy. So they did a great job. So I'm going to have them do some work on the trailer here. And it should come out pretty good. I wanted a bigger toolbox than the one that I got, but it just wouldn't clear from when I'm turning. I have a big weather guard toolbox that is a regular size truck toolbox with the sort of the um, thing, I guess they're called wings or whatever you call them where they kind of lay over the top of the bed. I'm not sure what you call them but that's what they do. Uh, it didn't work out. I brought it over there and you know did a turning radius check and it just wouldn't clear the, the back of the truck. So I'm going to just do a regular tongue uh, toolbox that I got from Tractor Supply and it's a pretty good uh, deal and what I'm doing to that is of course I'm drilling holes in it right away right uh, I'm putting some tie downs so the tie downs are going to be like D-rings right here and these D-rings are going to be used to strap down stuff on the top, right? So I put some grip on the top. Uh, they're called Sure Step, and they're just adhesive grip. And they're kind of like tri tire tread, actually. Pretty cool. I use them uh, on the other toolbox that I have in the M1009 Blazer, and I've really been impressed with them. They s stay stuck on during the cold weather so I'm not at all worried about it and if I and if it does come unstuck I'll probably just epoxy it so next uh, segment will be after I have it uh, welded and all installed on the trailer here's the finished toolbox on top of its mount and they did a great job uh, exceeded my expectations I kind of just left the design up to them. All I told them is I needed room for the landing gear to uh, stay up and also for having it high enough so that I can get down in there and crank it, but also have enough clearance for the truck. So I had them push it far back as possible and make it even with the shelf right here. So I'll have to use like a step stool to get up in there, but that's uh, how it's designed and it's by design so totally expected so I'll have to paint up those uh, cross members you see they mounted four of them with two cross members one on the front and one on the back they put four nylon nuts and bolts so that it's gonna make it hard to steal because they'd have to get inside the toolbox to hold the other side and People who like to steal like to get in and out, so it's going to be really hard. They'll have to pry open the toolbox. And what I'm going to keep in there is basically my propane hoses and some uh, cords, electrical cords for the generator, and some small propane tanks. I'll show you what I have in there. I open her up there. It's easy. It's a tractor supply box, and I'm really pleased with it it's it's uh, well made and it's easy to open and close so here's what I have in there put some small propane 
little one pounders in there. I have my uh, electrical siphon, which I'll use with these tanks right here. I don't need any spouts, which are uh, a pain to put on and off those jerry cans. I have some bungee cords in there. I have some cargo straps. And there's my propane hoses. And these are all propane fittings inside uh, some little tiny compartments there in some of those little containers. And a small uh, generator funnel right there. And some extra uh, steel braided line, which I used right here to hold up the uh, propane tanks from shaking around. And I think, uh, you know, I could probably fit a couple other little odds and ends in there, but I don't want to clutter it up too much. And this removes a lot of the clutter that was inside of the trailer as well. So, and this stuff that I'll probably, you know, need readily accessible, especially the, uh, uh, the siphon right there, the electrical siphon. So again, another project complete before the winter, and today it is actually pretty cold. We're in the 30s in Vermont, and uh, this got completed just in time. So the other thing that I'm doing to make it easier to tow this trailer is I talked to some RV places that are close by, and I'll be able to outfit it with some electrical brakes. You can actually convert it. These are uh, air over hydraulic, and you can convert it to totally electrical, which is great. And then putting turbo next month in the uh, war machine right here. So it'll be a 6.2 to 6.5 swap, and I'm looking forward to doing a video for that because I'm driving to Kansas to do that from Vermont. And it'll be a fun trip. I'll stop and see a friend in Ohio and probably uh, just hang out there for a couple days and then continue on to Kansas. It's total 20 hour drive. But all in all, did well. And uh, on to the next project. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, as always, keep prepping. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, subscribers have been picking up lately. And I don't know if it's because I got past a thousand. There's a different algorithm. But in any ways, uh, I appreciate it. And uh, please keep your comments coming. I like them. There's a lot of good suggestions. A lot of knowledgeable people on there that gave me some advice. Especially with this trailer. And I appreciate it. Uh, so, alright everybody. Prepper out. Take care.